2023? Put the shit into Google, right? So I did, and it came back. It said, usually said by ladies, after a breakup, when they live their best life by having contact with a whole lot of penis. Uh. So I decided I'd try keto. It sounded much more up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> I, tried <it. laughs> I tried all the trending shit. I did a Mediterranean diet. I did starving myself, intermittent fasting. Um, I tried it all. So I decided to do keto. And being an artist, that equates to lots and lots of hot dogs. I really learned how to suck down those two meats. Reminded to live my best life, right? <laughs> Even fucking eggs are expensive these days, right? Every day people need to start making more money. I need that egg money, bro. <laughs> So I started doing comedy at a nonprofit instead. <laughs> <laughs> so I went shopping for this uh, keto stuff. I went to Wegmans, my little Italian mom and I, I don't know, she's probably four foot, six inches, something like that. <laughs> Got a wooden spoon in one hand, because she always does. Great <laughs> gravy, not sauce. We're not a bunch of jamokes. <laughs> I had a fucking yellow balloon and the other had a smiley face on and said, have a nice day. Must have been Chinese. So we go in the Wegman. She stole everybody's reward points. That's what was most important to her, right? So we're walking around, and I got one of those freaking kinks in my elbow you kind of got to work out. I'm walking around doing this like I'm jerking off a giraffe, you know? <laughs> Some lady's walking around behind me with like a tray of meats. I don't even see her. Boom! I crack her right in the freaking neck. She falls into the open freezer, meats everywhere. Got the ghoul, salam, Remy, another fucking reminder, right? I got my little Italian mom. She's probably, I don't know, three foot ten. Go like Joe Pesci, pull me by the ear. Nobody saw her not. I'm like, oh my God, are you all right? I don't know this lady, she's laying in the fucking open. And freezer. She's like, no, I'm not alright. People got their cameras out. You dick, what you do? She's like, you go get your shine box, come with me. You know, my little tiny mom. I don't know, she's probably two foot eight inches, something like that. <laughs> so we're shopping for this shit and we get this MCT oil. You ever heard of that? It's real granola, it's good for diet, and you put it in your coffee, it adds fats and shit to your diet. You gotta have on Birkenstocks and a purple order to buy the shit. <laughs> so, I add the shit to my coffee. I'm gonna try to keep this clean. I got my girlfriend here in the family. More importantly, I got this fancy shirt on. I, I still got the Ross tag on the back. I gotta return this at the show. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I add the shit to my coffee. Now, I don't know what the hell I'm expecting. Next thing you know, my jaw's grinding like this. I'm drumming all the shit around that house. I go to the neighbors, I'm taking apart his lawn mower, set up trip wires around the yard. Keep out the evil spirits, I'm not weird, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I do all that shit and uh, decide I gotta go for a puff ride and mellow myself out. I went to community college, I knew just what to do. <laughs> so I take a little puff ride and <laughs> I come up to a light and believe it or not, in my state of mind, I didn't know where the brake was. I hit the brake, all the shit from the back of the car goes fucking flying forward. So I get my phone, right around that time I hear something. 
<laughs> it wasn't my car because there's no plumbing. It was my belly. I have to go to the bathroom now. I need to find the bathroom now. So, <laughs> so I get my fucking phone from underneath the brake pedal. I put it in the new one of those new uh, car phone cup holders. Everybody get one for Christmas. <laughs> I know. I regifted three of them, so one of you's got one. <laughs> Mine conveniently sits right here, which is awesome for the nav system in my cup holder. So I put in there, close this gas station, Sunoco comes up, like NASCAR, I'm sponsored. <laughs> so I put in, I gotta find a fucking bathroom. I'm like a student driver looking dude, cuts me off, they're going like 30 in a 30. So I'm motherfucking them, I'm like, are you serious? Show them how pissed you are, you know? <laughs> fucking dead. <laughs> so I get to Sunoco and I kick the fucking open the bathroom door to the crazy person. Before I can even get in the bathroom and take my pants are like an inch down. And uh, it's like boom, 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 boom. It's a one person storm. Like, out in a minute! Boom, 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 boom. My asshole comes out of the pants like a snorkel and just starts pissing all over the fucking wall. I got MCT oil, little pieces of fucking hot dogs dripping down the fucking wall. Boom, 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 boom. boom. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm reaching over here trying to get the guys that go off. Right over here's the toilet paper. And they always got the best toilet paper and paper towels in the bathroom. I'm wrapping my hand up like a fucking mummy. I'm like, oh my god, I got toilet, I got shit on my fucking legs. I'm like, out in a minute. Boom, boom, boom. So I just take this shit, I'm just going up and down. I got shit crossed behind me. Looks like a fucking Greek abortion. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> so I open the door, I clean up the best I can. I'm a mess. I'm grinding my jaw face to face with a fucking priest. I went to Catholic school. I knew just what to do. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I'm just living my best life.